So today what we're going to do is try to move this bar here. Um, it's not a magnetic material, it's just a piece of aluminum. And we're going to try to move this thing using some physics. And so let's uh, have a look at our formulas and then see how this is going to work. So here's our trick. We're going to move a piece of metal and first we need some physics. So here I have a loop. And if I put this loop in a magnetic field, so here the magnetic field is pointing in to the board here. And now what I can do is run a electric current through this loop. Now, a current carrying wire will feel a force in a magnetic field. And we can use the right hand rule to figure out what that uh, force would be. So of course we have to put our fingers in the direction of the current bend them into the direction of the magnetic field, and then we'll know the force is the direction our thumb is pointing. And when we do this just in the, the spotum example here, so current is moving this direction, magnetic field is into the page, the right hand rule tells us the force will be pointing down. Uh, around a loop, that will mean that it's always pointing um, in, in this case, this direction of the magnetic field. So. Um, and this is just the formula for the, this force, which is um, the current the, um, uh, times the distance crossed with the magnetic field. So each side is going to feel a force. Um, the total force, if we add them up, would be zero. So is there some way we can make uh, a piece of metal um, move? Well, what if we have a current uh, loop that's running in through a system like this, where this piece here can roll across these two conductors. So now, when we turn on this voltage, there will be a current traveling through here, and there will be a force on this uh, in this direction. So what it should happen is uh, this conductor will just roll across the surface. So this is our trick, and let's see if it works. So here what we have is this setup, and of course there's a lot of pieces here, but um, the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to uh, move this thing, uh, this switch down here. That's going to turn a, this coil here into a solenoid, and it will produce a magnetic field. So when I turn this on, we're going to get a magnetic field, and when I turn this switch, we're going to get a current moving through this uh, circuit here. So now let's kind of maybe zoom in on this, um, this uh, loop here. And first thing I'm going to do is turn on my magnetic field. And now I'm going to turn on my current. Okay, and maybe you even saw the sparks here flying as this thing uh, moved across. So there you have it. Um, we're able to move a conductor, sort of seemingly magically, but it's not magic, it's physics, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today, um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.